Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this short video, I will explain the difference between dynamically and statically induced EMF. So, in statically induced EMF, the EMF is induced when flux is changed by changing the value of current. And here is the diagram which is explaining the concept. Here you can see that the AC supply is applied here. AC supply changes its magnitude and that's why you can see here that there is a change in current and therefore the emf is induced in the coil basically static statically induced emf and dynamically induced emf both terms are very well explained in my previous videos you can see the link in the description here is the another example again one coil uh, is applied with the AC supply here which is nothing but a changing current I1 and therefore it will induce the current in the secondary coil that is coil number 2. In case of a dynamically induced EMF, EMF is induced when either conductor moves with respect to magnetic field or magnetic field is moved with respect to conductor. In this case the magnet is moving it means that magnetic field is mode and conductor is stationary here whereas in this case the conductor is mode and magnetic field is stationary so this is dynamically induced emf now next difference is in statically induced emf the conductor and magnetic field is stationary as you can see here that there is no movement in the conductor or a magnetic field Whereas in dynamically induced EMF, either conductor is in motion or the magnetic field is in motion. The next difference is in case of statically induced EMF, the direction of EMF induced is given by Lane's law. Whereas in case of a dynamically induced EMF, it is given by Fleming's right hand rule. The magnitude of EMF induced in statically in induced emf it is given by e is equals to minus n times d pi by dt where n is the number of turns and d pi by dt is the rate of change of flux in case of dynamically induced emf e is equals to blv sin theta where b is flux density in weber per meter square l is the length of the conductor in meter v is the velocity of in meter per second and theta is the angle between flux lines and the motion of conductor. It is measured in degree. So, next point is example. In case of statically induced EMF, the example is transformer. Here is the example. I will not explain it in details, but uh, uh, it is just like you can see here that here, here we have applied the AC supply we know that ac supply is continuously changing current and therefore there will be the emf induced in the secondary coil as you can see here whereas in case of uh, example of dynamically induced emf is generator we know that generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy and in this case you can see here that this uh, Conductor is cutting magnetic lines of forces and therefore the EMF is generated. In dynamically induced EMF, always there is a motion of conductor or, ma or magnet will be there. And in case of statically induced EMF, generally we will apply a changing supply voltage and therefore the EMF will be induced in uh, either in the same coil or in the another coil. So this is the difference between statically induced EMF and dynamically induced EMF. Thank you.